Okay, it's time for year four of the natural pool and how it's progressed and how it's done. And let's take a look. Got kind of a mess out. We've been cleaning down here. I've got all my vacuum equipment out because I built my pool in a forest, which was highly recommended not to do. But that's all right. I just have to vacuum leaves out once a year. I'm not sure if this is in the last video, but this is a top skimmer I put in. Uh, I need to clean it up, make it look a little bit nicer, but it just skims from underneath the dock here. Right there. So it's just pulling anything that floats near it down through that pipe up and spitting it into there. And all it is is an air pump, so if it sucks up a frog or anything like that, it doesn't um, it doesn't hurt it, and the frog can get out. So that's been working great. That actually cut down the amount of leaves that we have to vacuum out at least in half. I mean, it's been it's been awesome. We just come over and it's kind of a rainy morning, but it's nice not to be under the blazing sun. Our plants are doing exceptional this morning. The milkweed has kind of died off. I'm not sure why it did. Well, we have some new ones, but some of them died off. The lizard's tail, which is this guy, has taken over. Our bulrushes and grasses are strong this year for the first time, which is great. Um, here's where the lizard tail is just just really taken off and you can see the pool is full of life I don't know if you can see that guy but there's a little tadpole right there there's a bunch of little tiny black tadpoles all over the wall there too so the grasses the plants are just they look healthier this year than any other year so far. Every year they've gotten stronger. We still have some spots that we'll probably continue to fill in. I'm going to build another top skimmer at this end of the pool. The pool is 40 feet by 20 feet. Or no, it's like 45. I think it's about 45 feet long. So it's, it's a lot of area to skim. So I do want to build a second one at this end. It won't require any additional pump. Um, the one pump I have will be enough to make both of them skim, both skimmers. And uh, that's my goal this year. <clears throat> All the all the plants are, these guys are awesome this year. And I can't think of their name right off the top of my head. I just, just forgot it. Um, they'll probably come back to me in a minute. So other things that we have with a natural pool, it's, it has an ecosystem more similar to a lake than a pond from what I've been reading. We do get algae, that's, that's normal. Um, you can see it there on the rocks a little bit and we're going to go inside the pool so you can actually see inside and this bench it had a layer of algae on it too which we vacuumed out but it'll grow back I mean it it's just part of it the surfaces are going to have algae um, because it's effectively a lake well let's go look inside and look at the bottom you can see the leaves that have collected on the bottom and the algae and just just kind of what it looks like in the water
So <clears throat> that's the pool. It's it's nice. It stays warm for most of the summer. Nice view from inside. Yeah, so that's year four of my natural pool. I'm really happy with it. We've had the water tested every year. It's clean, it's really clean. Um, and uh, not much else to say. It's been a really phenomenal experiment.